In this lesson, I will show you how to retouch lips. Let's zoom in into this layer, into this image actually, and I'm going to create the layer. I'm going to call this clean lips. And the first step we are going to do here uh, will be very basic step of cleaning up. And how I like to clean my lips is by clone stamp. It's um, not very destructive and it can also, when it's rightly used, it can nicely soften up um, some of the uh, texture of the lips. Lips tend to be sometimes dry, so clone stamp, uh, similar as in the case when we were trying to even out, the skin tones will work perfect for the lips. So that's what I'm doing. Just this basic cleaning up checking what can be improved. If I have these weird lights, I'm also trying, as you can see, very carefully sort these dots out. And you should too. So this is the first step. I'm just trying to clean this, uh, remove the all of the dry skin that sometimes stands somewhere on the lips and also paying attention to how's around. If the lip line is all right, if the uh, lipstick not going on many different uh, sides, this is very important. You want to pay attention if the lipstick is uh, not really uh, going in all of the directions. And this is the first uh, step. As the additional information, you might want to know how to improve the color of the lips. So first of all, you're supposed to not change the color of the lips if you work on beauty image like this one. Um, beauty fashion image because these images have makeup artists for the reason. Uh, makeup artist is there as a part of the team and this is all consulted how the lips supposed to look. Sometimes though, as you can see, the lips seems not very filled with the lipstick as it's supposed to be. So there's few ways to do. I'll create new layer, call it color, and we'll have a few different methods. We'll try how we can actually fill this. I'm going to use brush and I'm going to take a sample of the color. And with the sample of this color, maybe somewhere from here, I will try to fill this. As you can see, we need to change blending mode, for example, for soft light, which will be too strong for color. So the best way is choose few different, um, few different blending modes and see which one could be actually uh, suitable. Uh, so this is really complicated uh, task sometimes, but we'll get there. So let me try again, color. And okay, going to try with multiply just first to see where I'm painting. Then I choose soft light. Okay, it's too dark. So after this, I would adjust opacity and we'll see if it looks better. So I feel soft light works uh, pretty good for filling up the lips, as you can see. Um, let me see if this change color. Uh, also, uh, blending mode color uh, should be uh, right for certain tasks. It's uh, pretty solid, uh, probably even better than soft light. So I would recommend you these two blending modes, color and a soft light. Also uh, using hue saturation and adjusting the hue of the lips, uh, I strongly believe would be really uh, great for you. Uh, you can check, invert this and then paint on the layer mask, uh, trying to adjust the color, as you can see. Sometimes we have more yellowish tones, sometimes more red. Uh, so this is the good thing uh, to try uh, to adjust this. As you can see, and somewhere here will be right, maybe a little more. So these are the techniques that I'm using to adjust hue saturation, 
uh, you can try different uh, different settings. You can try to work with reds and see how we can do with the reds to adjust it better uh, for the rest part of the lips. Uh, you can uh, create more layers, of course, and see what's suitable. But I think with these two layers, we actually, as you can see before, after improved the lips, uh, they have stronger color and they are much more filled. So this is how I retouch the lips. This is how I try to improve them. Most important, cleaning and then checking if the lips have right shape, if they are filled. And if you do everything right, the model will have really amazing lips.